Hey guys, so this week we're gonna be taking a look at day bags and the bag we're gonna be taking a look at is the Rapid Quad Zip Pack from 511. So I've been using this bag for the past couple of weeks and I have to say, I'm a little bit in love with this bag. I think it's awesome. I haven't really used too many 511 bags in the past, but I've always heard great things, that the quality is really good and they have some really neat kind of tactical bags. And so when I first saw that this bag was announced, I thought it had some really cool looking features, but once I actually got my hands on it and started using it, I really kind of fell in love with just how useful it is, the form factor that it comes with, and also just kind of the style and everything. So overall, I've had a great time testing it out. I really love a lot of the features that it has to offer, and I just think it looks really cool. So let's just go ahead and dive in and take a closer look at the 511 Rapid Quad Zip Pack. So starting out with the outside and the overall aesthetic of the bag, I really love the look of this bag. If you've seen a lot of my videos in the past, you know that I really like kind of tactical looking bags. So, you know, this bag has kind of this molly webbing on the front that allows for customization or just, you know, just for uh, attaching things with carabiners and things like that. Uh, but I don't think that it's overpowering. I don't think the bag is like an ex intensely tactical bag. It doesn't have molly webbing on the sides or anything like that. And even just on the front, it's about halfway down. So it's nice to have it for flexibility, but it doesn't overpower the look of the bag. I really like the color combinations that are offered for this bag. So what I have here is kind of a blue and gray combination bag, but there's a few different, maybe darker combinations on 511 site and on Amazon. So they have kind of some black ones and some tan ones, but I really like this blue color. It goes with a lot of the outfits that I typically wear. And it's just very different from any of the other bags that I've had. So it really stood out to me. And so far I've been loving this look overall. The bag itself is made out of 600D polyester and it has YKK zippers. So just really good material quality all around. It really feels durable and like it's gonna hold up over the long term. It also feels like it's gonna provide a fair amount of resistance against the elements. So the zippers all have kind of this water guard to help provide some water resistance. And all the plastic hardware is Duraflex plastic. So it feels really sturdy and like it's just gonna hold up for a long time. As far as kind of the shape and size of the bag, the bag itself has a 27 liter capacity, but it doesn't really look like it. To me, this is a really small and slim looking bag, which is really nice because it makes it very easy to wear on a day-to-day -day basis without looking ridiculous, but it also provides the flexibility to use as kind of a weekend travel bag or something like that. So as you can see here, the bag kind of maintains a pretty slim silhouette. The bag includes two compression straps on each side to help kind of give it a slimmer look or to keep everything in place if you don't have it that filled up. And so what I've gone ahead and done is filled up this bag at the moment with all the same items that I use in all my other daily bag videos. So just so that you can get a feel for how it looks when it's got a good amount of stuff in it. And as you can see, it still maintains a pretty slim profile. It really hugs my back and it makes it really easy to kind of move around if you're on public transit or if you're just walking around and you don't want to have a big bag sticking out. This bag really uh, just kind of blends in well and maintains a really cool profile. Moving on to the straps and the back panel. This is one of the areas where the bag has really excelled in my opinion. It's been super comfortable to wear. It's one of the most comfortable bags that I've worn in recent memory. The straps are super well padded. They're very kind of thick and comfortable and they're also kind of a nice width. So they're not too thin or too wide. And so this makes it really easy to wear the bag you know, throughout a long day, even when you have a lot of stuff. They're also nice and contoured and also include a sternum strap to help distribute that weight. And so, I've just been really impressed with how easy it is to wear the bag for long periods of time. On top of that, something that I've noticed with a lot of other 511 bags and just tactical bags in general is that it does have these clips at the bottom of the strap so you can detach them. I'm guessing what this is for is so that you don't have to readjust your straps each time that you take the backpack off. You can just kind of find that perfect spot that you like and then just unclip the bag whenever you want to take it off and put it back on. This also makes it easy to take the bag off very quickly if you're in a rush. Uh, but overall, it's a nice feature that I haven't had on a lot of the bags that I've tried in the past, but it's become something that's pretty convenient and I really like having. The back panel of the bag is super comfortable as well. It's really soft. There's a lot of cushion here, which makes it really comfortable to wear with a lot of weight or for a longer period of time. The material on the back padding is like a really nice mesh that seems like it's gonna air out pretty well. You know, there's, there's some ridges here to provide a little bit of elevation, but overall, the back panel is a little bit flat, so there's not a lot of elevation to provide uh, airflow, so there is a good chance that your back will build up some moisture as you're wearing this throughout the day, but it's really comfortable and kind of well done, so I'm willing to overlook that moisture because chances are if you're wearing a heavy bag, no matter how much elevation there is here, it's still gonna, you're still gonna build up some sweat, but you know, this is so comfortable that it doesn't matter as much, but I do wish there had been just a little bit more elevation kind of down the middle here to allow some more airflow to come in. But overall, the back paneling and the straps are really well done, and the bag has really been a joy to wear overall. 
One last feature here while we're on the back panel is the back has an outer compartment here that's made specifically to hold a hydration bladder if you're going hiking or something like that. So there's a Velcro strap here that kind of keeps this in place. And there's a pocket right in here with a little loop that also has some Velcro where you can attach a hydration bladder and it's just kind of nice that it has its own separate place uh, in the bag for that feature. And it's also nice that that's kind of kept out of the main compartment. So it's not like other bags where you have the hydration bladder inside and then you kind of pass the drinking tube through. You know, this is just on the outside, which helps kind of keep, you know, your delicate items on the inside separated from any possibility of like leakage or anything like that. So really nice implementation overall. And you know, if you don't use a hydration bladder, you can just keep this closed and ignore it and it doesn't disturb or anything like that. So really nicely done. So moving out of the pockets of the bag, the backpack has two kind of quick access compartments on the outside for any of your accessories that you need to get to quickly. So at the top, it has kind of a smaller one. And you know, this is where I would typically have the items that I grab most frequently throughout the day. So in here, I currently have my Ray-Ban sunglasses with their case. I also have my lightning cable for my iPhone. And then recently, I also started carrying around a spork. This is a titanium spork from Tokes. For the most part, the pocket is pretty simple. It doesn't have any sort of internal organization. It's just kind of a nice space that's really easy to get to, and it's really flexible for what you can kind of throw in there. The next compartment on the front is another kind of quick access compartment. This one has a little bit of internal organization, and it's also just a little bit bigger. So this pocket actually, it doesn't go down all the way to the bottom of the backpack. It covers about a third of the middle section. So as you can see here, it goes to from kind of the top row molly layer to about where the second one from the bottom is. So just to give you an idea of how deep the pocket is. And so, you know, this is a good depth pocket. Again, just providing some organization for some of your everyday essentials and just really easy to get to quickly. So in here, currently I have just a few items floating around on the bottom of the pocket. And then I have a few items in the internal organization as well. So I'm just gonna cover the items that are floating first. And what I have here is my retractable HDMI cable. And then I also have the Windows mouse that I've been using recently. And as you can see, there's just kind of a big space here for you to toss in some bigger items that don't fit in the internal slip pockets. Uh, but there are a few different slip pockets that you have here. They're kind of a strange uh, size. So a lot of them are smaller than the slip pockets that I'm typically used to seeing in a lot of the backpacks that I've reviewed. So some of these I haven't really used to their, I haven't figured out which items fit best, but most of these will be good for having something like the USB-C uh, dongle that I typically carry with me, or even a thin uh, portable battery might fit well in here. Here in one of the slip pockets, I actually just have a flashlight that I like to carry with me for backup. And so these two slip pockets here are about the exact same size. And it's really nice that, that you have kind of this organization or that you can ignore it if you don't want to use it. Next to those, you have kind of two pockets for pens or a stylus or anything like that. Uh, I don't really have any in here right now, but typically I would have a Sharpie or something else with me that would fit in here nicely. And then next to that one is kind of the largest internal slip pocket. So in here, I currently just have my Apple Magic Mouse. As I mentioned, this is kind of the widest of the internal slip compartments, and it's not too, too deep. So as you guys saw there, the mouse actually came up over the top there. But overall, it's just nice to kind of have those slots to prevent items from just floating around too crazily. And then on top of that, they also include a little keychain loop so that you can uh, just toss your keys in there and you don't have to kind of go searching for them. The uh, lanyard for the keychain loop is a little bit shorter than what I like to see. I think it's a little bit difficult to use, but I guess you can just always detach your keys and that, and that won't be too big of an issue. The clip itself is just kind of a normal plastic clip that, you know, similar to what we've seen on a lot of other backpacks that we've looked at recently, like the AirTac pack. And uh, currently what I just have on this keychain loop is just my Gerber shard. You know, sometimes I might throw my actual keys in here, but typically I'll just have a Gerber shard attached just because it's a really useful tool to have with me on a day-to-day -day basis. But overall, I think this is a really, you know, well done pocket. It's very useful and it's really nice that it kind of offers a lot of different ways to organize your stuff while being really easy to access. So moving on to the main compartment, I really love how the main compartment was done for this backpack. You know, it reminds me a lot of the Nomadic Travel Pack, which we reviewed a little while back. It provides so much flexibility in how you can actually access it. So for this main compartment, what 511 has done with the zippers, and this is where the name of the bag comes from, is that you can rapidly get to anything you want in the bag from any point in the bag because of how the zippers are laid out. So if you want to use it like a regular top loader, you know, you can just kind of open it from the top and just look down and grab anything that you need to from the top very easily. The bag also lays down flat, as we'll look at in a second when we actually review the contents that are on the inside. So it lays down flat clamshell style so that you can see everything at once. 
And then as I mentioned, similarly to the Nomadic Travel Pack, this bag actually has the ability to unzip from the bottom as well. So if you want to get to something on the bottom of the pack without opening the top or unzipping it completely, the zippers actually zip up from the bottom to allow you to grab something from the bottom really quickly. So if I just wanna unzip it from the bottom and just grab something really quickly so that I don't have to reach down from the top and just dig through everything that's in my bag and I know that what I want is here on the bottom, I can just unzip here and grab it really quickly and be on my way. So I haven't seen this on too many other bags besides this in the Nomadic Pack and this is a really cool feature. I'm really kind of starting to get used to this because it just makes it a lot more convenient to use bags that have kind of this big volume. But you know, in the past, it's been really kind of obnoxious to have bags that are this big and have some of your you know most used items sink to the bottom and you just kind of have to dig through. So it's really nice to have this option to kind of go in from the bottom, reach in and grab what you need really quickly and then just be able to zip up and be on your way. This works really well, as I mentioned earlier, Earlier, the zippers are YKK zippers, so they feel like they're really gonna hold up well. On the bottom of the bag, there's kind of the zipper garage here to help protect against water. So it's really nice that if you, you know, when you're done with the zipper, you just move it all the way down and it feels like it's really gonna be protected and like no water is gonna get in there. So I just really love how flexible the main compartment is with the various different ways that you can get in and grab your stuff. But as I just mentioned, what I'm gonna do is actually just lay this open clamshell style so that we can take a look at all the different items that I currently have in here. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is loosen up the compression straps. And I really love that the bag has these compression straps. I mentioned them earlier when I was talking about how it helped keep the profile of the bag slim, but I really just like having this, you know, for strapping on different things that I might wanna carry with me. So if I have a jacket, I can roll it up and put it on here or my tripod. So it really adds a lot of flexibility to the bag and I'm glad they were included. And so you can move the zippers all the way down and open the bag flat. So let's go ahead and do that. And so as you can see, the main compartment is pretty simple. You know, on the flap, there's a few pockets, but first we'll go through kind of this main area. And so what I have here is just the same items that I typically show off in my daily bag videos. So I have my BagSmart cable organizer. Then I have my Beats Solo Wireless 2. Then I have my in-case accessory organizer. I've also included a moleskin notebook here, full-size moleskin. And then I have a folder just for uh, documents and receipts and things like that that I carry with me every once in a while. And then the last item here is my uh, Levitate portable standing desk, my favorite item for working outside of my office these days. One thing about the backpack is that it doesn't have a water bottle compartment on the outside, but you'll see here that it actually does have a spot for a water bottle or an umbrella or something that you just wanna keep organized on the inside here. There's like a little mesh uh, compartment. So currently I just have the same water bottle that I've used in all my other videos and that fits in really nicely. And this is just a nice flexible area. If you do have a bigger water bottle, it does stretch. And you know, as I mentioned, maybe an umbrella or something that you just wanna keep uh, kind of standing up straight and separate from the rest of your items fits in really nicely there. So really nice that they offer that bit of extra organization. You know, I do wish that there was a water bottle pocket on the outside, but I do also acknowledge that it probably would have hurt the clean look of the bag and it wouldn't have meshed well with the overall aesthetic they were going for. Plus because of the way that the zippers work on this bag, it's really easy to unzip from the bottom, grab your water bottle and zip it back up. So overall, it's still kind of nice that they took that into account, even if the pocket is on the inside. As I've mentioned in past videos, the only thing that I don't like about having the water bottle pocket on the inside is that it is very close to the laptop compartment. And so there's always a little bit of fear of any sort of spillage, you know, happening right next to the, probably the most expensive electronics that's gonna be in your bag at any given time. So I would still prefer the pocket be on the outside, but this is a guess of pretty fair compromise. Speaking of the laptop compartment, it's really nice to see that this bag has a very nice padded, dedicated laptop compartment. The compartment itself is elevated off the bottom of the ground. So if you drop your bag, there's no risk of your laptop hitting the concrete itself. So it's really nice that it's elevated. The compartment itself is pretty nicely padded. It doesn't have any sort of felt lining to help prevent against scratching, but it's still really padded. It's nice and thick. It's got this nice strap to help keep the laptop in place. One thing you'll see here is that I currently have my 13 inch MacBook in the compartment and it kind of comes up pretty far over the top of the padding. So, you know, if you have a 15 inch laptop or even a 17 inch laptop, it almost feels like half the laptop is gonna be sticking out from the compartment, which makes me a little worried that, that it won't be as protected. Even this 13 inch laptop sticking up this much makes me a little wary. I kind of like when the compartment covers the whole laptop, but it's nice that it at least has the strap to help keep it in place. So it's not too big of a deal but it just, it, I thought it was strange how short the laptop compartment actually is. But overall, it's elevated and padded, and it seems to do a pretty good job of keeping your laptop protected. 
One last thing to note about the laptop compartment, which, you know, I almost wish that the laptop compartment was outside of the main compartment. I just think that it's always a little bit inconvenient to have to reach into the main area to grab your laptop. You know, there's, you, you still have the rest of your stuff in here, so it's tough sometimes to kind of grab, to reach in and grab your laptop when you want to grab it quickly. So I wish that almost like the hydration pocket on the outside was swapped with the laptop compartment just to make it a little bit easier to access your laptop. But overall, I think the laptop compartment is still really useful. The last thing we're gonna take a look at is the flap of the main compartment. So this has two additional organizational compartments, which I really like. So these are both mesh, so it's very easy to see what's in the compartments and they're really easy to access. And I really just like the amount of extra organization they provide. So starting off with this bottom pocket here, I currently just have a uh, USB-C cable and my Kindle. And there's plenty of space for, you know, you can probably put your laptop charger in here as well or just a power bank or something else. So it's really nice how flexible they are. And as I mentioned, it's nice that they're mesh so that you can actually see what's in each pocket. And so on the top pocket, I currently have my portable Bluetooth speaker and power bank. And this is a really cool item called the Blue Pot. It's from a company called Resonato, and we actually did an in-depth review for this recently. And so this has become a really useful item to carry with me on a day-to-day -day basis, and it fits really nicely here. This is another great pocket where you could, you know, also put your laptop charger or maybe a portable hard drive or some additional cables or even your sunglasses or something like that. So really just flexible on how you can organize everything. And a really cool feature of this top zippered pocket is that it actually has zippers on each side. So you can access it from the top or the bottom. And my guess is that this works especially well if, if you're trying to get to this compartment using kind of the alternative zippers that the Rapid Pack offers. So if you unzip from the bottom and you want to reach this compartment, it's definitely a lot easier to unzip this bottom zipper and grab the speaker as opposed to having to reach in unzip the top one and then re-zipping it. So it's really nice that they kind of thought about people wanting to access the pockets from all the different points of the bag and adding this bottom zipper to make it easier to access from the side is a really cool move. And so kind of the last item I want to touch on while we're on the main compartment is just the overall space. As I mentioned earlier in the video, the bag has a 27 liter capacity. So to me, this is bordering on travel bag size. You know, we've looked at some really good 30 liter bags in the past, you know, the Nomadic Travel Pack expands out to 30 liters and that's been a really good travel pack. Bags like the Incase Via backpack, even something like the Timbuktu Blink pack or the uh, Nazca pack from Cotopaxi, you know, they're about kind of the same size and they also work well as travel packs. So I really like to see that this bag, you know, is flexible enough to be used as a weekend travel pack or even for a week or something like that. So as you can see in the footage here, what I've actually gone ahead and done is put in my regular double-sided packing cube along with my dop kit and some toms just to showcase that this is a great bag for traveling as well as for daily use. So, so I'm really becoming more and more passionate about finding kind of these crossover bags that you can use for both things because I just really like being able to get the most usage out of my backpack. And also this really helps for when you're traveling to be able to just take your stuff out and really be able to move around the city with just one backpack instead of having to pack an additional bag to use for your day-to-day -day use during trips. So just love the flexibility of the bag. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I've just been really in love with this bag in the few weeks that I've been trying it so far. Overall, I was super impressed with all the features that this bag had to offer. I really love the color of this particular version of the bag and I just love the overall look. Even though it has a little bit of a tactical feel, I still think it fits in pretty well for just walking around the city on a day-to-day -day basis. And just based on the amount of space that it has, it even works well for a quick weekend trip. So just a really versatile bag overall and definitely one that I'm gonna be excited to continue using for a long time. So the bag itself costs about $90 on Amazon or on 5.11's site. And I have to say, this is a really reasonable price, in my opinion, for the quality of bag that you're getting, for the features that it offers, and for the amount of space it offers. I think it has a lot of really unique features. I really like the tactical look, and I think it compares really well to a lot of similar day bags that are even more expensive. So if you're looking for a more affordable alternative to something like a GORUCK bag, I think this is a great option worth looking at. You know, this also has kind of a similar tactical look. It has some nice molly webbing on the outside to provide some customization. It has kind of that clamshell design so that you can easily pack and organize things the way that you want to have them. And it just, it's a really good quality feeling bag. So it feels like it's going to hold up for a really long time. So at $90, I think that's a pretty reasonable price, especially for a bag that's so new. At 27 liters, this is a little bit bigger than the GR1 26 liter version. 
And even though, even though these bags don't have as much of a tactical look, I think this bag could be compared to bags such as the uh, Timbuktu Jet Pack, Timbuktu Blink Pack. So just kind of these bags that have a lay flat design and have a lot of flexibility in how you can pack and that are really good quality. And that also are kind of around that 100, 150 price point. I also think this is a great alternative for other kind of crossover bags that we've looked at on the channel, such as the Timbuktu Command Backpack, the Lenovo Passage Backpack, or something like the OnePlus Travel Backpack that we looked at a few weeks ago. You know, this is small enough that it looks great for using on a day-to-day -day basis, but it also holds enough stuff that you could definitely use this for a quick weekend trip, maybe even a little bit longer trip if you're creative and minimal in how you pack. So just a really flexible bag overall. I've really enjoyed using it just to go to and from the office every day and to walk around the city, but I'm also looking forward to experimenting with it for weekend trips as well. So if you're looking for just a great all-around bag that's a great quality and not that expensive, at about $90, I definitely recommend you check out the Rapid Quad Zip Pack from 511. If you guys found this review useful, please go ahead and give us a like below. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And thank you guys so much.